Hello, oh, Quebec. To another episode of Mala has a quest for us. Uh, it's probably quest number three. So, let's talk to Mala. There is a matter which I hesitate to share, but I believe you are the only one who can help me now. Anya, the young alchemist and daughter to one of our slain elders, has been missing for some time. She is a strong, crafty woman with a spirit like no other. One night, just before your arrival, I overheard her and Nilathak arguing about her father's death. <clears throat> the next morning, she was gone. Nilathak has his own tale as to where she went and why. Don't believe him. I fear he's at the root of her disappearance. Please, if you can, search for Anya and bring her back to us. She'll know what to do about Nilathak. Hmm. Perhaps you have heard the accounts of my son's horrible death at the hands of Bale's minions. He was my last living child. The oath of compassion I have taken as a healer extends only to humankind. Cut them hmm. down, warrior. All of them. When you talk to Nilathok, be careful. There is no telling what he will say or do. Ooh, okay. Oh, locked behind somewhere. In a cage. Look for Anya under the crystalline passage by the frozen river. Frozen. Ow. Anya is an amazing alchemist, especially for her young age. As long as I've known her, she's never let anything stop her from pursuing what she believed in. I wouldn't doubt that Nila Thok is involved. Ever since her father died, they haven't gotten along. Hmm. Every day, one of my friends dies fighting outside the town walls while I tend my anvil here unscathed. If only we didn't need weapons so badly, I could be out doing my share of the fighting. Good luck to you, warrior. Mm -hmm. We can't all be warriors, right? You need to keep the supply chain going. Otherwise, you're screwed. I would listen to Mala. Nilathok <coughs> speaks with a venomous tongue and acts as if the entire weight of this town rests upon his shoulders. Perhaps there is more going on here than we know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's someone else's shoulders. All users of the magical arts know of Mount Ariat, but few understand its true nature. It is the nexus of an unfathomable magic. It bodes ill that the Lord of Destruction races to its summit with such purpose. I fear for the whole world should Bale gain what he seeks. Anya's father, Ast, was our wisest elder. He was killed along with the other elders who erected the ward that protects the city. The ward has kept Bale's demons out of Haragath. But at a costly sacrifice. Nilathok, on the other hand, was the only elder to escape the demons. Somehow, he alone managed to find sanctuary while the others died around him. Ever since that day, Nilathok and Anya have been at odds. This is unlike any battle I have ever fought. While we ration food and water, the demon. Yeah, feast on blood and bodies and. Where's Nila Thorpe? That's weird. Um. Isn't he supposed to. Look for Anya and Nilathark. This, Nilathark, that. And then I'm looking for the guy and he's nowhere to be found. Okay. Good. Looks as if this guy is gone now. And we can maybe find him somewhere uh, in the wilderness of Mount Ariad. But uh, before we continue in Mount Ariad, I want to know more about this uh, hell portal thingy that appeared out of nowhere, basically. So, uh, the second one of its kind we find on. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 Why can't I throw that? 
Anyway, let's just let them be. Uh, the second one is up here. The first one is somewhere down there. So let's just go back to the first one. <clears throat> oh, bollocks. I forgot to get more of those bolts with me. Uh, maybe I can find a few of them like that. In a chest also. Okay, keys, yes. Okay, maybe it's all about the town portals now. So, Abaddon. Nice, direct portal down to hell. Wait, that's weird. <coughs> There's uh, an, a thing marked down here, but you cannot really interact with it. Uh, there's some form of decoration. And another one of those shrines. For an area that's supposed to be full of demons, this is pretty much empty. Oh no, wait a minute, we need to keep that again. Doom hack the hole. And I'll get poisoned to death. Alright. That's a war bow. Let's just take that one with us. Oh, wait. Um, also, the healing potion. Trigger that. Bada boom. Oh, I'm very close to the next level. Nice. What level is that? 29. Still not even close to the thorn shield magic spell. What's it called? It's not called thorns, it's called um, barbs. How many more? Uh, 3,000. No, 7,000 ish. 7 plus 2. So it's 9 enemies I need to defeat. Let's just see. Scene kind. So there's a 1. Okay. 2. 3. 4. 5. <coughs> Oh, that was it. Okay. So, do I want to place some points in there? No, not yet. Let's keep the points uh, until I need them somewhere. Oh, yes. Look at the damage increase. Yes. More poison, more better. Ah. Hmm. Also, the life is pretty decent. The life is at the same level as the wolves. Oh, yes, bolts. Yes, 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 yes. Of course. 
so my inventory should be pretty much full now okay so there's a large charm there's a small yeah this is small this is large there's no medium charms uh, small large and grand <laughs> uh, almost like super healing potion yeah that's the one i wanted uh no wait this is the greater one where did the super mana greater healing super healing potion again okay that's the one that goes up here good so let's sell those thingies that was abaddon for you nice or maybe he only appears at night no He's just gone now. Good to see you. Of course, Nithalak is gone. Now, what about our evening gold gain? Yep, 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 yep. One thousand max. Oh, ten to maximum damage. Yes. Oh, nice. That's even better. Uh, but this is three thousand. Okay, so picking up magical items is like kind of wasteful at the moment. <coughs> So, uh, we're gonna keep these. Uh, we're gonna place it up here. That one goes down there. That one will be placed up here. Twelve fifty. Yeah, that's it. And place that the way, like so. And on. No, wait a minute. Uh, Aria Plateau. I went through the whole Abaddon thing. Uh, I can go through uh, this. And, uh, Demon portal. Ten to maximum damage. <laughs> so cheap. It basically means that you have a plus five increase in damage overall. Why is it called Blood Slime? Oh yes, more bolts, more bolts, more bolts, more better. Hey, we got a nice ring. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I have a feeling. I kind of feel as if uh, the poison effect gets overwritten by the freezing effect. Well, poison doesn't happen all the time. So, the Archeron. What's this? Mana recharge? Nah. I don't care about stuff like that. Da -de -de, da -da -de That's supposed to be a hidden stash kind of thing. Ah, there we have it. Oh no, 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 no. Let me move. Getting stunned is cheap. Maybe it's not that... Wait, what happens if I poison the enemy with one of my poison effects and then another poison effect gets applied on that? Does the poison stack? Is there, uh, at least for that amount of time, does it um, override itself? Like a higher poison effect and then a lower poison effect for some reason? Because that can be the case. This is just some kind of game mechanics, uh, things that you need to understand in order to make better decisions. Because usually what you would think is that, uh, like, damage is damage, more damage is always better. But for these situations, it might not necessarily be that helpful. Ooh! Thing. 
Uh, our defense needs to. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Move, 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 move. Needs to be much higher. Maybe I should go for fire. Okay, uh, let's try something different. Uh, okay, that's something different was a bad idea. Uh, the mana regenerate if you stand still. Uh, boom, boom. Do you move around? No. Mana regeneration does not change if you move or stand still. And another charm, of course. Oh. Let's just hope that this is uh, one of the good charms. That we can uh, use a kind of exchange with one of those previous ones in the inventory. Whoa! This rejuvenation potion, I think, instantly heals you, and it does not <coughs> trickle up like that. Very neat, very neat, very neat. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> uh, I could just fool, shoot them from afar. Wait, uh, it's a long summoning spell. Alrighty, now, oh, what's uh, down here? Oh, oh. I think I should have picked something else for the sockets and not poison but fire or cold or uh, because cold is so cheap. Cold is useful actually. Uh. Poison only deals a ton of damage over a certain period of time but cold actually makes the fight easier for you. The enemy would be like frozen uh, or at least slowed down dramatically. There's a large enemy hiding somewhere. Oh! The lock of the axe. Why can't I kill this thing? There we go. Now we just need to wait until the damage kicks down. So, how does that work? Poison resistance 26%. No. Nothing I need in my inventory. But it is kind of cool, but um, other than that kind of way. Okay, let's go back. So, what is this pick that I found? Good day. Good try. Tunnet's crowbell. Cowbell. Cowbell. 
Uh, enhanced damage, sure. The thing is, like, the percentage enhanced damage, it's... Hmm. It's nice for our little collection, but uh, nothing else. Uh, so what about that? Uh, extra gold from monsters, yeah. <laughs> I I can only wear two of those rings at all times, right? That, that means I have to choose the best um, percentage gold from monsters rings uh, and then put them on myself. Uh, four plus energy, monster after kill, uh, mana after kill, sure, sure, sure. Uh, this one goes down here. Okay. <coughs> I just don't have that much. So. Yeah, and that one goes into that slot there. Afternoon. So, let's show that thing and prepare a little bit. Oh, wait. I need to get some bolts back. Uh, there we go. Much better. Hmm. Oh, wait. I also need to get some scrolls for this. I think Mana would be the right person. Yes. So, let's get this axe and get another 25,000. Okay, so poison and cold effects do stack. It's just that you don't know that they are poison because of the change of color that occur. <coughs> oh, wait a minute. I can just try to kill these guys from back here. If that works out. <laughs> uh, prepare the battle group a little bit. We need another ring. Uh. Not even that useful kind of items. So let's use that and sell the rest. Good to see you. Doom, 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 doom. What do you need? <laughs> so, 8,000 on this one. Wait, wait. Okay. That's weird. So, it's only some items uh, that can be sold for like 25,000 gold. Why? Like, this one can be sold for 2,000 gold. That's strange. <clears throat> hmm. Almost not worth the pickup. Strange. Why does the uh, value of those items drastically differ sometimes? Alright, we got this one back to the area. So, onwards. Or well, maybe it depends on the enemy that we got those items from? I don't know. Like the last two were, I think, class dependent uh, items. One of them was a weapon, sure. This one? Maybe you have to look at the weapon in order to make it more pricey or so. Like, you know. look at its previous state and then identify it, and then uh, look at it again in order to see a difference in selling price. That could be the case here. Seems very weird to me. Right. 
going. I have a wrong healing person name with you right now. Soundtrack kind of feels as if you're in the Lord of the Rings movies again. <laughs> All the way down to Mordor. Wait, something is shooting at us. I don't know what it is. What is this? Does it come from that demon or does it come from somewhere else? So, uh, wait a minute. This uh, is the wrong potion. Now everything's good. Onwards. That's the first thing. Wait. Ah, that's a dead end. Yeah. Someone is summoning like a an Armageddon spell onto it. Ooh. I do like it. Who's doing the summoning now? Come on. Identify yourself. Get it. It's those catapults. This one, fr ah, they throw different elemental effects all the time. Interesting. Three, four, and five. Okay. Potions. I don't want to use what's in my belt. I want to use what's on the floor. Can I right click this thing? Okay. Let's just ignore it. Does it work? Yeah, it works. Nice. Alright. Got the tower done for. So. I have a feeling that there is another catapult hiding somewhere. Where is it? Well, are you catapult? Oh, no, you're here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Like poison, frost. What strange kind of catapults these are? Okay, another one. Four, five. Good. <coughs> From the west, it seems. Yeah. Does it come from down here? No. Hmm. 
Okay, this is actually the way forward, I think. Yes, Lord Amethyst. Sit down. area without any enemies. Oh. Two, three, four. Got it. Need to get the safety now. Oh, come on. Just let me move. Uh, don't want to get stuck because I have to aim. Where to go, just go around the wall. Much easier. And there's another one. Okay, wait. Three, got it. Sign. Wait. Uh, v, wasn't it? Yes. Small bolts. Um. Oh, wait. Ah, much better. So, uh, yeah, I said the, the, the area continues towards the western side. So, I just want to know what can be found on this part. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing, I think. Just 
just being so cool. Oh no 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 no! Don't get onto the turret. There we go. <coughs> Good. Okay, so that side is almost done. I pretty much explored all of the area pattern. Hmm. Let's just hope that this will give me another 25,000 because otherwise I'm kind of questioning the... Yeah, the value of... Hmm most of those items and I'm gonna go probably back to picking up health potions instead <coughs> all right yep it becomes much easier now Much icier, much colder. Now, where do we have another one of those caterpillars? Two, three, number four. Good. Am I burning? Not yet. Such a strange environment. There we go. That's like one fortification, followed by a little bit of open space, followed by another fortification. With a bit of luck, they are. They haven't made it too repetitive, meaning that there's another fortification coming afterwards. All right, I want to know where the last catapult there. Okay, that is it. Oh yes, healing potions. Uh, okay. Let's just send a bit further away from that. Ah, every time. You're closer to one of those towers and it gets man immediately. Actually, it gets demon because it's not a man. Is it? So we have no potions. Ah. Uh, come on, I shoot at it, but nothing happened. There we go. Stamina potions, yes, 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 yes. Let's not forget about those. Hmm. Is there another barricade somewhere? No. I think we reached the end of that. Ah, this is the way forward. Right, 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 right. Oh wait, 
What happened to my wolf? Okay, it does take a little while until he actually uses the potion. But you give it to him and then it just jumps bump bump. <coughs> now I'm the one who's in need of the potion myself. Alright, fresh stun now. Perfect. Uh, super healing potion, yes. Uh, the inventory is full, of course. And nothing there. Nope. Maybe we should just uh, stop taking all of those mana potions. Like, I'm not running out of it. And if I have to recast the monsters all the time, then that basically means I have to change my strategy altogether. Similar to how I have defeated Diablo before. What I mean by this is, um, like, uh, if I have to respawn the vine or the wolves or the spirits or whatever, then uh, I basically have to hope that the vine and the ravens are enough to deal all of the damage needed. So what about this one? The crystalline passage. This one says crystalline passage. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> actually uh, the way forward, but all right. So let's just go back to time and uh, maybe get more of those potions real quick. So do some identification and see how the value changes. Yes. So how good is that? 44 enhanced damage, sure. Or maybe uh, it de yeah, 2000 again. Maybe it depends on the amount of amount of bonuses that this weapon has. So if this has only four bonuses, it's like 2000 and whatnot. Mm. If it is less, then of course it's less. But I'm still kind of annoyed by the fact that uh, the first two items gave me 25,000 and then nothing. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Very inconsistent. So... Alrighty, and with this, uh, we're gonna have a cut here. The episode itself was probably more uh, about the area plateau and the demon areas. And this one here is all about the crystalline passage. Passage, passage. Until then, back at the sky, of course. Ta ta. Come on, follow me. Thank you.